Hey guys, I just wanted to go ahead and show you how to, how to use the new preview system built in the multiplayer FPS plugin. So basically you now have two different sections. Under customization you have all of the parts for the part component. Your default part, same as normal. However, we now have a new section called preview. So before you just had a preview mesh, where you had this huge drop down for a static mesh. But now you have preview static and preview skeletal. Now this gets set automatically based upon, you know, what all you set in here. So if we look at, we'll just start from the top, display part min max. That is to allow you to easily control the minimum and the maximum. So for example, if I drag this out, you can see I'm going closer and closer to maximum. And I can go really as far as I want. So let's say I wanted to have, you know, like having this here. So that's 23.8. I can just copy that, paste it into the minimum. And then when I go to play, I know that I can drag it all the way up there. So you kind of get some control with it on that aspect. And it's up to you to kind of figure out where you like it, but it just makes it easier instead of going back and forth and testing each time. Now, the display part index. So this is negative one by default, so that way you can modify, you know, these and such. That's probably a bad mesh to grab. But all of these to use with it. But if you go through and you set it to like 0, 1, so on and so on, it goes based on your possible parts. So 0, B, or zero being the hollow site, 1 being the mount, 2 being the mount rail, and 3 being the thermal site. So you go down the list. You can see it works like, like so. Next up, we have you can control the actual meshes. So for example, if I switch this to another part, in this case I'm going to do a hat, it swaps out. And same thing if you do a skeletal mesh, whereas before all the preview meshes were statics. So, And then you can see it alters the display part index back to negative 1, so you can easily override it again back to your initial index. So same thing goes, all this kind of stuff gets kept. It's just much a much, much easier and faster workflow to kind of go through and set up all your parts. Now next up, there is a, another addition to the actual part base class. So for example, if we head over to the stock, that'll be this guy here. You can see right here, invert moving offset. So this is false by default, but basically it allows you to, if you have areas that need to go in reverse, so this one moves forward, so min is right here, max is right here, you can go from min to max very easily. Now with the stock, because it's going the opposite direction, you're going from a min or a max of zero to a min of negative 10. It allows you to basically just revert it. So you're doing the exact opposite. Whereas before, you would have to move your mouse to the right, for example, and it would move to the left. It would move basically the opposite direction. And this is just one of those things that is kind of like a uh, nice to have to take care of that. So that pretty much wraps up that little system. So I'll see you in the next video.